Infectious agents of red cells are not the most common cause of hemolysis, but certainly can be a very treatable cause of hemolysis or can require a very set specific treatment um, or potentially is poorly treatable. And so hemolysis can be intravascular or extravascular. And the only way to really diagnose this well, certainly you can't diagnose it from a hematology analyzer. So you actually have to look with your eyes at a microscope or someone does. Uh, you can also do things like PCR and serology for it as well. So you can actually do tests in that way. But you can diagnose many of these via um, actually looking at a blood smear. So I'm going to kind of go through the common ones of each of the main species. And I don't know how to draw camelids. I apologize. I don't really know how to draw any of them, but I tried. So in dogs, we see mycoplasma. So the hemotropic mycoplasmas are, are common to all of the species except for horses. And so in dogs, we see mycoplasma hemocanus. And this is usually post-splenectomy that we would see this or um, if they're on steroids. So it's very uncommon. More common relative are the Babesia species. And this includes Babesia, there's a few, um, but this includes Babesia canis, and the poster child for Babesia canis is the greyhound. And then the other is Babesia gibsoni, and the poster child for that are the pit bulls. And so Babesia canis uh, and Babesia gibsoni cause different syndromes, but they both, they both cause anemia. And there's a few other types that are similar to these. The Babesia canis actually looks like little teardrops within red blood cells, be within the red blood cell, where actually Babesia gibsoni looks like a little signet ring. So there's a round and then a little structure and it's actually purple. So these are the two main red cell parasites in dogs. Now in cats, cats also have a mycoplasma, so I'm just going to use M. And the main one, which used to be called the large form, is hemophilus. Some people still call this hemobartonellophilus, but that is not used anymore. And there are other types of mycoplasmas that can cause anemia, but this is kind of the big one that causes anemia. The other intraerythrocytic red cell parasite that we see in cats is cytoxoin felis. And that doesn't actually cause anemia in the same way, and that is a much worse disease. And we're not going to talk about it a lot. You probably talked about it maybe in parasitology when you talked about protozoa. This actually causes um, a non-regenerative anemia where these others are regenerative anemias because it crowds out the bone marrow. So we're going to put parentheses around that because that's not really the same. Um, the horse, the main one, we're not actually going to talk about at all, but we see Babesia um, equus or equi in horses. Um, you can sometimes also see a Therilia, which I can't even say it. I've never actually seen it. Um, cattle, uh, and again, horses, we don't see mycoplasma. Cattle, it's not called mycoplasma bovis because that's a respiratory infection. It's called mycoplasma wenionii. Uh, we also see a Babesia, and we see a Therilia. I'm only telling you this for board's purposes. The ones that are most important in cats are the mycoplasma hemophilus, and in dogs, the Babesia species, and less so the mycoplasma. So in camelids, we see um, everyone's favorite mycoplasma hemolama, and which is um, uncommon. I've seen it a few times, though. So those are the most common ones that infect red blood cells. Uh, you can also have diseases that don't infect red cells but are infectious, and these include uh, the rickettsial diseases. Well, they can sort of infect red cells in a different way. So uh, this could be Ehrlichia, so Ehrlichiosis, my thing won't write. Um, so the Ehrlichia, Ewangii, Equi, Canis, um, those can all cause sort of bone marrow level, so they're not the same. And I actually forgot the most important one in cattle, and that's because it doesn't really happen that often up here, and that's anaplasma marginale. 
which is not the same as Anaplasma phagocytophilum. This one is in neutrophils and it causes thrombocytopenia and mycoplasma marginale, excuse me, anaplasma marginale is in red blood cells.